In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to modify the destination of the produced files when you batch process several of them. This is a result of an interaction I've had with a user at the Cyberlink forum. So what we're going to do is click on the word file at the very top and choose batch produce. And so we need to find where our files. I'll click on the plus key. And I've navigated to this subdirectory called Summer Project. And we'll simply highlight all three and click on Open. And it will take all three parts of this one film. And it will batch produce each of them. And I can go ahead and simply click on Start. But one thing that I want to make sure of is that when it produces each of these, it will put them in the place of my choosing. Now a way to change that is you can highlight any of them and click on the Edit and you'll get another screen and the very top of the screen it says Output Folder. Now it wants to put them in my Works folder. Now I can go ahead and click on the three dots and I can navigate through my file system and choose a different location for each of them because I all want I want them all somewhere else. Uh, and uh, the user was saying this is really time consuming where I have to do this process for each one of these. So we'll cancel out of this. How can you do this better? Well, we're going to close the batch processing and let me show you what to do first. So this is kind of an issue related to the process or procedures you use before you batch process. You click on the gear at the top and then you click on File and then you choose the Export Folder. So I'm going to browse in my file system, not to my works, but to move into my summer project. And I'm going to use a subfolder called Overland Final because these are my Overland options. Then I'll click on OK. So I want to make sure the export uh, folder under the file menu is set where I want. And then when I go ahead and do file, click down on batch produce, go ahead and load them again, all three of them, and click on open. It will load the files as before. And it tells me I have three files to batch produce in the queue and click on the edit. Notice this is the new location for that file, and this is true for each of these. If I highlight uh, the other file here and click the uh, pencil, that is going to the same place. So now, when I go ahead and click on Start, each of these three different components of the same movie will be stored in their final version in the folder of my choosing. So I don't have to individually override my default settings. So it's just a, a simple thing that you have to keep in mind. Whenever you're exporting uh, to a location, you can set that parameter. And when you're done, if you, in the next series of projects, if you want your uh, files to be exported to another location, you just change this again and it will go there automatically. So it's a real nice way to temporarily change the location of that output so that your, your files, especially in a batch situation, are all stored exactly where you want them to go.